is currently nine o'clock and my eyes are still shut so i want to go back to sleep i want to go back to sleep waking up for suhoor waking the children up for suhoor staying awake praying and then waking up again at 6 30 for the other lot alhamdulillah and uh, we move on elu's got football at 12 o'clock then i need to get four boys hair cut after that and um, probably it's going to be around iftar time by the time we get home we need to get this house ready for Eid you guys I kid you not I have not done proper cleaning the whole room the, the house is you guys know you, you guys know when I'm, when I'm about to do a cleaning video you guys know already the state the house is in like you gotta understand we're in the month of Ramadan and uh, my main focus was my deen. It wasn't to clean the house. Like, it's not dirty. It just needs tidied up. You have five children in this home, bear in mind. And uh, things pile up real quick, especially when it comes to that washing. I need to invest some money into getting a tumble dryer. I really need to get a tumble dryer, you guys. I really, really need to. But I just don't know where to put it. And I don't like having an odd thing in the middle of my kitchen everything needs to have a place and if that dryer doesn't have a place then we're not going to get it but I really need to invest some money in a dryer yeah I'm going to decorate the house get the house ready for Eid I have two hours and I think that's more than enough so I'm going to get this under wrap so grateful for my husband but not so much when he does things like this like what's up my brother like why are we doing this like what is up my cupboards are nicely organized I tell him to go and put something away once in a while and when I do we just jumble things up like this what? gentlemen when your wife asks you please help out she doesn't mean create more jobs for her she really doesn't mean that unless your wife speaks a different dialogue to what other women speak but like look at this now some of you are gonna think you ungrateful no i am not being ungrateful all right I had to take a short break. Right, I've just done Munira's room and I've done the toilet. I just had to speed things up because the time is just literally not on my side. And in the middle of everything, you guys, in the middle of everything, my hoover went on a smoke. Like, it just literally gone. And now I have a whole house and I don't have no hoover and it's Sunday. I'm so happy with my hoover because it lasted me nine years. Dyson is just one of the best hoovers out there. Like the quality is amazing. And if you also sign up with my Dyson, every little part that breaks, they replace it. It don't matter how long it's been. Even though mine has been over nine years, every a few months I order a new head and they just send it to me for free. Like what a bargain to quickly after Khalil's football go and pick up a hoover but when Nira's room is done changed the bed sheet covers dusted everything off done the toilet beautifully now I'm in the boys room you guys Eunice's birthday was the other day can we all wish him a happy birthday he is 11 years old Allahu Mubarak Alhamdulillah he is 11 years old and he's been wanting a PC we had a deal PC is going to be for work as well as gaming and it was also going to be his read gift as well like we combined it the whole year of whatever was coming up and just put it into this pc and 
he's loving it you guys let me show you hey baby my baby's fasting this boy has lost so much weight like why am i gaining weight during ramadan and he's losing weight like what is going on like, everything that they do during the day involves in sitting down whether it's come to reading their quran or playing their game and here i am running around and i'm feeling like my cheeks are getting a bit chubbier like what is going on you guys it was not cheap they have this curved monitor i don't know anything about pc you guys all i know is it looks cute they love it and it cost a lot didn't it eunice yes but eunice promised to continue doing amazing at school and doing yeah. a lot of research doing a lot of good things on this thing right yeah yeah, yeah. i feel like the screen is quite big but and drive my behind all the way to my friend's house to pick up Hoover. Whenever I'm doing cleaning, I always love to put a face mask on. Like, it is my thing. Or whenever I'm cooking, I like to put a face mask on unless I am recording and I've got makeup on. And today I'm going to be putting on, I'm going to be using this turmeric facial clay mask and it just works wonder. The, the result is very, very much visible. Um, this is a very organic facial the ingredients are very very simple it's just milk honey vitamin E and vitamin C don't know if you can say but the the reason that I love this is because I can see results straight away and I like that I love to be able to see result and uh, this will show me that result that I need I'm starting to hate the way my hands look and I've got no one to blame but myself because I am that type of girl that loves to use harsh chemicals without using any gloves like unless I feel a burn in my hand I don't feel like, like anything is clean like I said I have no one to blame but myself and uh, now I can see what effect that chemical is having all over my hands um ignore this bit because i got a cut and now it just healed so it's just gonna obviously turn dark can you see my hands you guys i feel like i have a 50 year old hand not that there's anything wrong <laughs> with a 50 year old hand they probably have better hands than i do uh it has a little bit of tingle to it i don't know like what is causing the tingling I put extra just under my eyes because I really need it you guys all right waking up late nights catching up with my bags under my eyes and uh, well when this dries up you guys it just turns a very clear and it just looks like your skin you can either choose to wash it off or just leave it on but I will show you guys after it dries and before I wash it off let's get back to cleaning <music>
um, as you can see the face mask has dissolved into my skin Khalil got a haircut <laughs> Khalil right I, be I, looking like a tomato at it won't it won't your haircut looks actually really really nice I love it I oh, what is going on with lighting okay so after i usually finish cleaning you guys what i do is i give the children wipes and uh, if they see little marks like this mark has appeared on their door i am not sure where it came from i've been screaming yeah, my head yes. off asking but yeah so i just give the children wipes and uh, they just clean the skirting boards around and uh, i don't think this is gonna come out so I might need to do a little touch up. I, that looks like a rubber stain. I got one part off. Did ya? <gasps> he took it off. Mashallah, tawarakallah. And then this year, that's May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Hoya. I don't think that part will come out. It's coming off a bit. Is it? Oh, oh my goodness. I am so happy. I don't need to get the paint out now. You guys, this is how I keep my house white. Um, I usually, when it comes to wiping down, especially around there, um, around the uh, rail on the stairs, Do and you know uh, what the most satisfying part is what these, yeah, these They're so dusty. And what yeah. you have to do is wipe it, and then it goes so clean. And you see this. Look at that, you guys. Look what it took off. It's not, e it's not even that it's dirty, well. but they're really good at these little tasks as well as cleaning other parts yeah we can see it well done Hoya just clean around and clean around there as well I'm gonna go downstairs and finish off Munira and Khalil Munira and Eunice are gonna do downstairs but look Hoya you don't need to waste it do you understand yeah you don't need to waste it so once you got that part dirty you just open it up you go like this yeah and uh, there's clean all the parts Jazakallah khair hoya. May Allah reward you inshallah ta'ala. And then I'm gonna move on downstairs is waiting for me you guys. Let's go and clean downstairs. Right, this is how the kitchen is looking. You guys, I made my first Somali cake attempt. Um, ow, no one can stop me baking. This is how the kitchen is looking. And then let's get this sorted out you guys. It's not even that bad. I have taken off the Ramadan decorations off. Everything's looking empty, just how I like it. So let's get started. You to put a couple of bit stuff away. Right, moving on to the living room. Look, I'm gonna start. Mummy,
my battery died i've tidied up most of it but i wanted to share this new rug that i got from wayfair and you guys it is to die for let me get the patterns close you guys you guys can you see this rug can you see this rug and your feet will thank you like your feet will literally thank you for stepping into this rug so oh, soft so i usually get 120 by 170 um bear in mind i have a door in the living room and when the children go into the garden i don't like their feet going on the rug so i don't like it too big i like it just the way i like it and i'll show you guys in a minute i am tired i've hurt my wrist a few weeks ago and till today i can't seem to put pressure on it i'm starting to use my left hand nowadays if you guys have damaged your wrist and uh, you found a way to restore it again do let me know because it's playing up and so man keeps telling me you need to go to the doctors you need to go to the doctors and i ain't uh, at the moment the nhs does not have no any appointments so that's not even an option i'm just gonna carry on using <laughs> Salaman's dandy yeah eunice i need your help baba eunice i need your help baba yeah so at the moment nhs is not an option but yeah if you guys know any other way with massage then we did everything but i'm not gonna right you guys we have just finished myself salman and the kids they have wiped every wall every light bulb has been wiped as well and uh, this please focus focus and this is the result of the living room i got this Eid Mubarak banner from uh, Eid parties online and i got the cushion covers from ikea the sofa is from ikea this sofa seems to be very popular with you guys i got this sofa about three years ago it was actually a u shape but we've taken that part out over there i've taken that part out and um yeah and the covers like i said are from ikea i usually wouldn't reach out for things like this you guys I, guys at this table someone asked me the other day this is from a very you guys majority of the stuff in my house is just from ikea and uh ikea home. ikea and very so i've got the children gift box i haven't put the gift in there but i just wanted to put the gift box up because we do have two days left until eid and then i've just used this from last year which says eid on it I need to put the lights on for the e and the d at the bottom the eyes got this light on hey little baba fasting is getting to us but we only have two more days inshallah ta'ala eunice also eunice also got a haircut you guys and it looks absolutely yeah. stunning you should see how doing a bit me it's got let me see let me let's see the back let's see the back <laughs> i done that to Khalil, so i had to do it to you as well but yeah you guys one more time oh my god i so love this i can't wait to sit there tonight and i'm gonna watch movie with her puppy tonight that's what i'm going to do oh no 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 and then in the kitchen we just have an eid mubarak banner up and um yeah the kitchen is nice and clean you can put your game on higher thanks yeah for all the sisters that are asking about these rugs are they outdoor rugs someone asked these are not outdoor rugs they are indoor rugs but when obviously you're looking from above it looks like an outdoor rug but it's an actual carpet i just feel like it just adds that bit of oomph to my kitchen because everything is white in here and i love it children have made everything squeaky clean so the children are the ones that do all the cleaning on the cupboard doors and the handles and stuff and i think they did a pretty amazing job i just need to put away the dishes and then my sister's making iftar today so i don't really need to make no iftar while we're sharing where we got everything from this table is from very.com with the chairs you guys it's a way too sexy for me 
but yeah and uh, these shelves have saved my life and have made so much space for me in my cupboards in the kitchen and uh, this is from also ikea you guys that is everything done my house is done right this is not part of my cleaning but i had to had to had to share this and if you guys think that you might like this then i will definitely make a video and share the recipe with you guys i have made a milk cake using a pistachio and pistachio nuts on top and uh oh my god you guys you guys this is <laughs> my mouth is already watering stuck for a little bit but this is the second tub this week this is the second tub this week you guys we literally went through two tubs in less than a week this is an amazing dessert i'll definitely be making this for eat enough of the sharing i am done cleaning i'm gonna have a shower and then i'm gonna go and pick up the food from my sister's house who's making it for us today you guys mashallah tabarakallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give her everything that her near desires inshallah ta'ala um yeah and then i'm going over to my niece this evening after we break our iftar and we're all getting our mendis together which is going to be really really nice yeah so my sisters and my my niece is doing all the girls in the family's mendi and it's going to be really nice you guys i'm going over to my niece and um, inshallah ta'ala it's going to be all good vibes yeah i am so tired but first before i get my mendi done i like to have a deep deep scrub because I know that once I get my Mindy done, I'm not gonna be scrubbing my body like that for at least a couple of days. For a couple of days, is that nasty? No, it's not, because I will wash myself, but I will not go in with the scrubber, do you get it? But yeah, you guys, I hope that you like the video. Eid Mubarak, Allah, it's going to be on Wednesday. We are thinking Wednesday. I am praying for Wednesday, because I like to be nicely and prepared when it comes in but yeah you guys i need to stop rambling away i hope that you like the video if you have please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed what are you waiting for make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video which will be the next video will be Eid day Eid day guys guess who got a haircut guess who got a haircut yesterday guess who got a haircut yesterday we got a haircut yesterday wait wait for what what are we waiting for benjamin got a haircut look at his haircut no puppy no puppy <laughs> no puppy we need to see harun's haircut harun's haircut is everything and i'll see you guys on 